Vin Diesel, family comedy. Does it work out? No. What's up everybody? This is A-Town Alex with a brand new episode of Heroic or Villainous and today we are reviewing the movie The Pacifier. And this movie has been suggested to me multiple times by multiple people and uh, oh boy do I have some things I would like to get off my chest. So basically The Pacifier is about a Navy SEAL named Shane Wolf who's played by Vin Diesel. He's assigned to protect the family of this murdered scientist named Dr. Plummer who created this government computer program that's able to stop nuclear weapons from being fired, but it's at his family's house, and Vin Diesel has to go and protect his family. But the issue is that the family is crazy, so now Vin Diesel has a much tougher job than any mission he's ever had working with the Navy SEALs. Oh Lord, there, there, there was just so much that genuinely made me angry about this movie. And I'm just gonna mention a few of the big the big things uh, first off the the children that he has to protect are Totally awful now. I get it. It's the point of these family comedy movies to make life really difficult for you know the big action hero in, in Vin Diesel, but like This family is totally unlikable first off No one seems to care that their father was murdered by assassins like throughout the whole movie there wasn't there was only one scene like towards the end of it where the oldest daughter's like yeah I'm kind of sad that my dad died and I have to be strong for the rest of my family but other than that no one cares it's just like ah dad died well dang oh well and speaking of the children there's five in the movie that Vin Diesel has to look out for but only the two oldest ones really have a purpose they're the only ones that really drive the story forward where the other three are just comedy, comic relief, and the comedy's not even that funny. Like, the oldest kids do most of the funny stuff to me, so I'm just like, why waste our time with, the like, a baby scene? Like, the baby doesn't need to be in the movie. Like, all it did was give Vin Diesel the, oh, I'm a big tough guy that's afraid of changing diapers, and then the baby wasn't an issue for the rest of the movie. So they, they didn't need all these kids. And the, the second thing that really bugged me is that this family is being targeted by the people that killed their father and for some reason the mom's logic was like oh I don't want to have our kids worry so I didn't tell them that their father was murdered and that people are coming after them well that's kind of important information to tell your kids like oh someone is wanting to kill you so please do everything that this Navy SEAL says because she just tells them that oh your dad died and while I'm away Vin Diesel's gonna be watching you so and throughout the movie the kids are like oh, don't watch us and they're like running away from him and if the bad guys were competent in this film they would have been sniped within seconds the, the and the movie the, the, the bad guys they who are the bad guys in this movie like in the beginning it sets up that the Serbians are the bad guys that is our people of choice that is the bad guys for this movie Serbians and I'm like cool I'm on board. Serbians are the ones that kidnapped the doctor, they're the ones that killed the doctor, and now they're the ones that's targeting the family. That's how the movie sets it up. But then midway through the movie, ninjas attack Vin Diesel. I'm not an expert on Serbian culture, but I'm pretty sure that ninjas aren't in Serbia. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's, that's correct. And then at the end of the movie, it turns out that North Korea was responsible for targeting their family. And I'm just like, where did North Korea come from? Why, why isn't it Serbia anymore? What happened to Serbia? They just were like, oh, we, well, we killed the doctor and we give up. Like, at no point did the movie transition like, oh, North Korea actually hired Serbians to kidnap the doctor. They didn't do any of that. It was just like, oh, North Korea is the bad guys now. Well, I'm like, well... Thanks for the input, movie. Now I'm confused. And this final thing that I'm nitpicking about doesn't really go towards, goes against the film, but it, it actually it kind of does, because it really made me mad. There's a scene where the little girl in the family, she's a Girl Scout, and her and her troop are selling Girl Scout cookies, and then they're being bullied by a Boy Scout group, and the bullies are like, 
push throwing all their cookies all over the floor and they're saying who would want to eat your nasty cookies and i and that made me really angry i had to pause the movie and take like deep breath for like five minutes because who on god's green earth says that girl scout cookies are nasty sociopaths do but then the movie made up for that part and made a scene where the Girl Scouts start beating the mess out of the Boy Scouts. And that made me laugh because Vin Diesel just like looks watching it through a camera like, what's going on? The girls are like, you know, just, you know, tying them up and just, you know, stomping them out. It, that was funny. That was funny to me. I laugh at things like that. Bad sense of humor, I know, but I liked that. To the people that say that this is a good movie, stop it. This is not a good movie. The only enjoyable thing about this movie was that I get to complain about this movie. Now, it's not nearly as bad as Howard the Duck with its duck movies, but this is still pretty low on my bar of movies. And I've seen family-friendly comedies before, and the ones that I really enjoy are not this bad. So this isn't a genre issue, this is a pacifier issue. So the pacifier is getting a Vin Diesel chest-sized villainous rating so what did you guys think of my review this week do you agree or disagree let me know down in the comments below and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and i also like to say thank you very much for your patience i just moved into this new place it's still pretty empty i gotta decorate but thank you so much for your patience and for all your support and i'll see you next week on another episode of heroic or villainous